you a quick walkthrough of problem 5-1 that we worked in class today. We're going to calculate the bond discount yield, the bond equivalent yield, and the effective annual return on a $1 million treasury bill currently selling at 99.375% of its face value if it matures in 65 days. So again, our bond discount yield for our treasuries is sort of a made-up yield. It's based on a convention, and that convention was a 360-day year, and also it was based on calculating the yield based on the face value of the treasury bond, as opposed to typically we calculate returns based on the initial price, or P0. So how do we do it? We simply calculate the amount of interest, which is simply the amount we get at maturity, the million, minus the amount we paid. So we basically earned what is that uh, $6,250 in interest on a million dollar investment, well, a million dollar face value. So we earned a 6.2% return, 0.625% return over a 65 day period. In other words, over basically a two month period. We typically don't talk about two month interest rates, we talk about annual interest rates. In this case, our annual interest rate is based on a 360 day yield year. So our bond discount yield is simply calculated by taking that 0.625% multiplying it by 360, dividing it by 65. So we've basically simply multiplied basically by 6 to get that 360 day year. So our bond discount yield, which is how treasury bond yields are talked about, is 3.642 percent. Let's look at next our effective annual return. There's a formula in the chapter for calculating our bond equivalent return, but it's basically simply our old familiar APR, and we can calculate that with our calculator very easily. We enter the present value, we enter the future value, we put in one for the number of periods, and we solve for the interest rate, keeping in mind that one of our cash flows, the present value will enter as a negative and the future value will enter as a positive. This is basically telling us that we will be earning 0.6289% over a 65-day period. But again, we really don't care about 65-day interest rates or two-month interest rates. We want an APR. So how do we get our APR? We simply take that 0.6289% over a two-month period, and we multiply it by 365 and divide by 65 because there are basically six of those periods in a year. So that's our simple, familiar APR calculated with your financial calculator instead of the formula given in the textbook or PowerPoint slides. So again, we enter one for the number of periods, then the interest rate we get corresponds to a 65-day interest rate. And we just multiply by 365, divide by 65 to get our APR. Next, let's look at the effective annual return. So again, let's calculate our effective annual return. That's our simple familiar EAR, and we can do it easily with our calculator, or we can use our good old-fashioned formula. First thing we do with our financial calculator is the Treasury bond's going to be worth a million at maturity. It cost us nine three three seven fifty. We're going to have it invested for one 65-day period. We solve for the interest rate, and we get 0.6289. And again, this is the interest rate for a 65-day period. If we want to use our algebraic formula for our EAR, again, we simply typically take what? The APR, divide it by the number of compounding periods. So if this is 18% per year, we would do 18 divided by 12 and take that whole thing to the 12th period power. In this case, we've already calculated our basically our two-month or 65-day interest rate and that 65-day interest rate is 0.6289 so inside we simply do equals one plus that 6.289 percent and of course we take that to the what 365 divided by 130 which is basically to the sixth power almost um, actually, I'm not sure that's the sixth power to the third power, eh, whatever power it is. Oh, I've got not divided to the 136, but that should be to the one to the 65th power. 
Again, sorry, that should be to the 365 divided by 65, which is almost to the 6th power. So to the 365 divided by 65, that would have given us basically our 1 plus our interest rate. Then we subtract off 1, and there is our effective annual rate. We can also get that effective annual rate at very interest easily using our financial calculator. Let's see how we would do that. The first step is again to solve for that 65 day interest rate. So we've got that. We've got one for the number of periods because we're talking about one 65 day period and this is our interest we'd earn over a 65 day period. If we put in one dollar now and left it in for one 65 day period our $1 would grow to 1.06289. And again, we always take that amount, subtract 1, and that gives us what? Our EAR, our effective rate. And it, again, that's an annual rate, but we're already talking about this for what? One 300, I'm sorry, 165 day period. But if we want an EAR, we really need to be talking about 365 days divided by 65 which is roughly, again, that six of those periods within a year. So if we invested $1 at a 65-day rate of 0.6289%, and there were roughly, and we could increase the decimals here, there are roughly 5.62 of those periods within the course of a year, our investment would grow to 1.035833. Subtract off the 1, and there's our 3.58. 3.3% EAR. There's a video in D2L discussing further that conversion of an APR, which would have simply been this rate multiplied by 365 divided by 65 to an EAR. So make sure you're conversant with that.